What's up everybody? Welcome to Mom's Dinner. My name is Susie Weinrich. Here we are helping you feel successful at dinner time with super simple recipes. So if that sounds good to you, we would love to have you subscribe to the channel. Just a little bit ago, I made my Instant Pot 555 hard boiled eggs. I'll link the video up here somewhere for you so you can go back and watch that if you want. I knew when I was making these that I was gonna turn around and make potato salad for our dinner. We're having shredded barbecue beef sandwiches, potato salad, corn on the cob, and watermelon. Super traditional barbecue dinner. When I made this potato salad recipe, I was trying to copycat my mom's potato salad. It has always been the best. She has been the potato salad maker in our family forever, but of course, she never had a recipe written down. She just made it from her heart perfectly every single time. So I tasted and tasted her potato salad over the years and I knew that I wanted to recreate it. And I think I came pretty darn close. So I hope you'll stick around today because we are going to make the best mom's potato salad with eggs. All right, we're gonna start this recipe by cooking the potatoes. I just wanna get them in the water and cooking while we make all of the other parts of the potato salad. So always start your potatoes in just cool water, not boiling already, pop them in. I like to peel and quarter my potatoes so they cook a little bit faster. And they should cook in about 25 to 30 minutes. You just have them boiling, they'll do their thing, and then drain them and let them cool. You'll need about three and a half cups of cooked potatoes. Then we're gonna make the dressing for our potato salad. It's gonna start with mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip, mayonnaise is what you want. And you're gonna need about one and two thirds cup of mayonnaise. Then we're gonna go in with one and a half tablespoons of just straight up yellow mustard. You could mix a little Dijon mustard in there if that's a flavor that you wanna have. Now we're gonna balance all of that tang with four teaspoons of sugar, and then we're gonna add a little bit of tang back with one teaspoon of white vinegar. This balances all of the flavors together. So get that stirred up really well. Then as I was stirring this, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to put the salt in. So I added one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt and then got this stirred up all together again. You can just set that to the side and we'll get some of the veggies chopped up for the potato salad. So you'll want to do half a cup of celery and I like to do it in kind of a fine dice so that you're not ending up with like huge chunks of celery. Also half a cup of green onions. You want to use the white and light green parts of the green onion so that you get the most onion flavor. Then we talked about these earlier. I did hard boiled eggs. Earlier, you need five large eggs, hard boiled, and just get them chopped up into, you know, like a little half inch dice, something similar to the green onions. All right, let's talk about the potatoes. So with potato salad, we've got these potatoes, the russet potatoes that I cooked and cooled. Now what I like to do is break them up by hand because that gives them nice craggy edges and then some of them kind of absolutely crumble and that mixes up to be the very best texture for your potato salad. Now in this one, I do feel like I left some of the pieces a little big. Really you want them to be in like a half inch dice and not perfect dice. Remember craggy edges. <sighs> I love potato salad so much. So we've got this completely done and ready. It looks perfect. Potato salad is just like, you know, chili. The longer it sits in the fridge, within reason, we're not leaving it in there a week, but if you can leave your potato salad in the fridge for like 24 hours, the flavors are gonna come together and be so good. So if you can make your potato salad a day ahead, great. If you just have one hour ahead, great. Pop that in the fridge, let it cool down and all come together and it'll be ready to serve. The other thing, with potato salad, once you have it all put together, you want to give it a taste and see how the seasoning is for you. I'm going to give this one just a little taste. I'm so excited my mouth is watering. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I think mine needs <clears throat> just a dash of salt. So 
So I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt in there. <clears throat> I'm also gonna add another pinch of sugar. The tang got a little tangy for me in this one. And you never know. You know, the recipe is the same, but maybe the potatoes cooked up different or they absorbed more dressing or, you know, you never know with a recipe like this, you might need to just adjust the spices per batch. So let me tell you a little troubleshooting. If you feel like your potato salad is a little tangy, then I would add some more sugar or maybe a little bit more mayonnaise. If it's really dry, if you feel like the potatoes have absorbed too much of the dressing, which I think you'll be okay. It's a pretty good um, saucy potato salad, but you could mix up like a half batch of the dressing, add that in there, stir it up again. If you find that it is too sweet, you wanna add a little bit of tang and a little bit of salt. So add a little squirt of mustard, add a little bit of vinegar. Um, you could add just a dash of salt in there as well. And if you want to boost up the flavor, add that salt. You could also stir a little horseradish in there if you like horseradish. So I think that's some of the tra flavor troubleshooting for potato salad. And if you make this, please comment in the comments below and let me know how it turned out for you. Did you love it? Did you use the 555 Instant Pot hard boil method for the hard boiled eggs? Would love to know. So until next time, I hope that this recipe for my mom's potato salad helps you feel like a success at dinner time. We'll see you next week.